A reminder, we do have first alert weather conditions in place for today and tomorrow for the howling and blustery winds we've been experiencing today. And then tomorrow we'll bring heavy rain into the picture along with very high elevation mountain snow and continue those breezy conditions for days to come. So impacts, we expect mountain travel to be a bit messy, even though we will see that high elevation precipitation turning to rain below 7,000 feet over the next couple of days. That on top of recent snowfall plus wind will make things pretty dicey up there. Light objects around your house outside could get tossed around and we could expect, should expect, ponding of water over the next couple of days, especially tomorrow as we start seeing heavy rain come into the picture on Thursday morning. All of this brought to us by that strong storm system off the Pacific Northwest coast, that bomb cyclone. It did turn into a bomb cyclone yesterday. So I thought we'd take a moment and talk about what a bomb cyclone is. That is a real meteorological term. Now, I do want to say I know our example here is set off the East Coast, but the parameters for uh, bomb cyclones to develop are the same no matter which coast or which ocean they're over. So first, let's talk about a cyclone. A cyclone is simply a massive air that's moving in a counterclockwise rotation here in the Northern Hemisphere around a strong area of low pressure. So we usually call this just a low pressure center, a low pressure system or a storm system, but that is technically called a cyclone. So then you put that cyclone, that area of low pressure with that air moving around it. You put that over a warm ocean or milder ocean temperatures and then near a continental cold air mass. And you get those two air masses kind of colliding and that causes rapid intensification with those temperature gradients. And that's called bombogenesis. When we start seeing this low pressure center drop pressure very rapidly, that means it's intensifying. Now, technically, bombogenesis is defined as that central pressure dropping 24 millibars. That's how we measure pressure, dropping 24 millibars over the span of 24 hours. This can really happen any time of year, but it's most typical from October into the spring. It can result in very heavy precipitation and can produce winds above 70 miles per hour, and that's exactly what happened off the northwest coast last night. This system, remember, the parameter is 24 millibars in 24 hours. This system, I saw some estimates it said it dropped 59 millibars in 24 hours. That is intense, rapid intensification there. And yes, it did cause wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour across portions of western Washington. And the kicker here is that it's also tapping into that atmospheric river. So precipitation soon becomes a big concern, already a concern in portions of northern California. Precip becomes the bigger headline for us tomorrow. Today, it really is the wind. These are our current wind speeds, sustained winds still at 30 miles per hour in Mountain Home. Pretty blessed out there and will remain so through the evening hours. The wind may let up a little bit tomorrow, but I do expect the breeze to continue for days to come as that storm system will take days before it really starts breaking apart and moving eastward. Temperatures right now near 50 in Boise. These are our current temperatures. Look to our highs tomorrow. We'll likely be into the 50s across much of the Treasure Valley, upper 40s in the Magic Valley. Our mountains near 40 tomorrow. We are going to warm over the next couple of days, and this is notable because of precipitation. So do expect to rainy Thursday, off and on showers throughout the day, heaviest in the morning and the afternoon. Even in McCall tomorrow, we will see rain, snow in the morning, rain in the afternoon. So that's something to take note of, and that wind continues. We do cool over the weekend, but we continue that chance of showers each and every day through next Tuesday.